everybody, my name is Yasmin Ellis and welcome to London is DMC's YouTube channel. Today we have a treat for you. We've got an amazing musical band called Riff Wave and we're going to get to know them, we're going to ask them about how they became musicians and how their career is going and then we're going to watch a performance by them. So let's meet our guests. Nelson, Beatrice, how are you doing today? Very good, thank Fine, you. thank you. <laughs> Amazing, welcome. Thank you so much. So let's get to know each other a little bit. First of all, let's start with Beatrice. Beatrice, where are you from? I come from Italy. Italy, wow. And what about you, Nelson? I'm a Spanish, but born in Chile. Wow, okay. How did you guys meet? Well, I was playing in, uh, in London for uh, about 13, 14 years. Been playing in pubs. And uh, um, I was playing with one of my best friends. Um, he left, unfortunately, left the UK, now he lives in Germany. So I was uh, looking for someone to play like a duo, you know, and uh, then I found Beatrice. Oh, okay. Let's talk about the name Riff Wave. Who came up with it? What does it mean? That's the interesting part. <laughs> yeah. He got the riff part, which also represents his, uh, you know, what he does in the duo. And wave is something that came from me. So, you know, it was just uh, two things that came together. But the riff is normally, one. you know, the, the lower guitar strings where you play something that is charismatic that identify the song. That's the riff. Yes, of course, and, brilliant. Uh, in terms of, uh, you know, the, the choice of wave is because I guess it represents me as an artist. When I'm singing, I have, you know, I use a, a different range in my voice. I can go very low or very high, like a wave. And also with my dancing, people tell me, you're like a wave when you dance. It's <laughs> not like, wave was my thing. <laughs> wow, great. Okay, let's talk about the genre or the kind of music that you guys do. How would you describe your style of music for Riff Wave? We kind of tend to play the songs as they are normally, but we kind of, Beatrice puts a little bit like a, like a musical touch. So we kind of do the, the original version, but with that, like a musical touch, you know. Sometimes we rearrange the things or create different dynamics. Um, personally, what I like the most um, in terms of uh, doing covers, since uh, my main thing is uh, being a musical theater performer. So I've always been, uh, you know, um, trained to try and be open to different styles. Actually, the more you, you can, you know, embrace with your voice, the better. Um, but uh, for this specific project, uh, I love the idea to perform the songs in a different way, to give something that people can recognize, but with a personal touch. Wow, great. Okay, Beatrice, let's start with you first. What did you study? I started in Italy since I was uh, like very, very young. At three year old, uh, my mom started taking me to uh, dancing lessons, piano lessons. And, uh, and when I was like uh, six or seven, I started playing in a choir. And then going on, I just uh, decided after high school to, uh, to try to be a musical theater performer. First in Milan, attending a musical theater academy there. And then I had the lucky chance to finish my studies at the Royal Central School of Speech and Drama here in London. Very impressive. You're also an actress as well as a musical theatre performer yes, and yes. part of Riff Wave. Yes. <laughs> okay, what about you, Nelson? Uh, I started learning guitar when I was 13 years old back in Chile. Then at the age of 19, 18, 19, I was already playing in pubs. I was playing the bass guitar in different bands. Then I went to do uh, original music uh, as, as well, doing some covers. Then I left Chile in 1999 and I moved to Barcelona. And then in Barcelona, I continued the same thing, playing in different bands, originals and covers. And in 2005, I came to England. Same thing again. Uh, yeah, I play um, acoustic guitar, electric guitar, bass guitar. I play a little bit of piano as well, a bit of drums as well. I write some songs as well, and I do backing vocals. So you mentioned original songs. Can yes. we expect anything original from Riff Wave in the future? <laughs> we have already thought about it. We had yeah. already conversations about it because um, I never thought that could have been my first thing. Since I've moved uh, here in London, I've been inspired so deeply with all these, uh, you know, creatives around me. And I started, uh, you know, uh, writing songs as well. He plays, he creates music, so. I guess, yes, we can expect something in the future. <laughs> Fingers crossed, because okay. you've got a fan here. Okay. Um, Beatrice, tell me a little bit about how do you prepare for a concert? 
So the first thing uh, is the warm up. It's very, very important. It can be a bit boring sometimes. And sometimes it's something you have to find a nice quiet place to do it because if they see someone doing like, they might think you're crazy. So definitely the warm up. I meditate actually, and I try always to think about what I want to transmit to the audience on that particular night. And uh, I try to be specific and uh, every time to change what I want to give. Sometimes maybe it's um, more energy, other times is to give uh, to the audience the chance to not think about you know, their problems for a while and uh, make them feel involved into a very nice vibe. Uh, other times I, I meditate, uh, you know, thinking about uh, giving the audience uh, memories with those kind of songs and making them live again those particular atmospheres and vibes. Nelson, after 13 years as a professional musician, do you still get stage fright? Oh yeah, of course, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes, yeah. Um, that depends on the, on the venue, uh, the people, you know. I do remember my biggest one was in, um, it was actually a duo and it was in Wimbledon after the Wimbledon tournament. So everybody went to wow. see the game and then to the pub. I was uh, I played like for four hours, nonstop. That was crazy. When I was going to the stage, I was a bit frightened because there was a lot of people, yeah. It depends, you know, it depends. If you're playing festivals, there's more people, you know. And Beatrice, uh, my final question is going to be to you. We've got loads of prospective students or maybe musician wannabes, or maybe they're already musicians, but they want to make this a career for themselves. What kind of advice would you give them? So the biggest advice uh, that I can give that I think you can have the best training, you can have the, the best situations, you know, to make it. But if you don't get out there um, constantly to meet people, to be out there with the creatives, with the people that can inspire you, it will be harder, it will take more time. I believe that nothing creates opportunities more than a good genuine networking because without without that kind of networking you can have the best agent or whatever but it will take more time nelson would you like to add something yes, to that please, <laughs> yes um from my point of view i think play and sing as much as you can so uh work hard and play as much as possible until you have pain in your fingers Old yes. style school, yes. <laughs> Hardcore, I love it. Okay, so which two songs are you going to be singing today? We're going to be singing Don't Stop Believing by Journey. Ooh. I would like to pay a tribute to the late Olivia Newton-John. So we'll do a short version of a Sanadu. All right, let's get this show started. All right, All right Sam, let's do it.
did you guys find that concert? Did you guys enjoy the performance? What did you think of Rift Wave? Please let us know down in the comment section below and give this video a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed, make sure that you're subscribed to our YouTube channel here at Londonist DMC. My name is Yasmin Ellis and see you next week. Bye-bye for now.